Hello my friends, uh, this is just a quick um, YouTube on using Fusion 360 to uh, sort out a little problem I had with a vehicle that I took in for a service, got a customer vehicle from the garage and it almost ran out of fuel when I got, by the time I got home, which is only about 10 minutes away. Uh, I had a can of fuel but I didn't have a funnel so to, to get the fuel into the car was a, was a bit of a drama and that led me to designing and making a funnel that I could keep in my garage with my spare fuel and um, creating a sketch from the front plane. Um, I sketched the profile of the funnel giving it a two millimeter thickness. The sort of bowl end of it, I decided to make 50 millimeters long and, um, and then chose an angle for it of 60 degrees and that seemed to seem to look okay. And actually, no, I decided that 50 millimeters was probably a bit too short. So I selected um, to change that to 100 mils carried on drawing the profile two millimeters thick for the, for the actual wall of it um, uh, and then down to the point of point of origin so now I've got the profile I need to um, use the revolve tool to to make the actual shape of the hollow funnel. So I select Revolve from the Tools menu, select the uh, profile itself, and now I need to select the axis. And of course, this is, uh, this is where I've made a slight mistake. So what I need to do is um, edit the sketch create a construction line that will form the axis of where my revolve will go around. So I'll draw a line, I'll then convert that into a construction line. Then I'll dimension it from the, uh, from the construction line to the spout part of the funnel. Uh, so it's at the centre of what the funnel would actually be and now I've got my axis that I can revolve around now what I want is a hole that runs up the spout and along the bowl to expel any air that uh, that needs to come out whilst you're pouring fuel into a container or, or whatever I select the bottom of the funnel and I'll create a new sketch now draw a circle um, and offset that this is just an arbitrary circle then offset that by two millimeters to give it the wall thickness now when I extrude that will give me the um, the actual sort of escape part, if you like, um, and I'll join it onto the top of the bowl. Then what I want to do is, of course, make that hole go all the way up the side of the bowl of the the funnel. So I'll create another sketch. On the uh, on the rim of the bowl, make circles um, with the offset tool that correspond to the hole at the bottom of the funnel, and then I need to join these together. And to do that, I'll use the loft tool. 
So I'll select the loft tool from the menu and I want to select the bottom portion first. So I have to deselect the sketch so that I can select the top of that hole, then reselect the sketch so that I can select the circle on the sketch. And then as if by magic, it, uh, it joins them up and we now have the hole running right the way through. Uh, I'll now save it as an STL file uh, and print it print it out on my ANA A8 in ABS in a lovely shade of pink and you can see in the bottom left corner a little time lapse of that going ahead. Um, here are some images that I've taken first of all of the emergency funnel that I fashioned out of an old plastic lemonade bottle and a bit of tubing which got the car got the car working um, and some prints of the the final the final product I use 0.3 layer height with the ABS um, so it's quite quite coarse and perhaps I've made the make the uh, the dimensions of the the hole for the escaping air a little a little different but there you have it hope you enjoyed this hope you learned something from it um, this is my way of doing this particular task not necessarily the best way or the quickest uh, but, um, but there you have it uh, and I hope to see you soon thanks very much